All right, I'm back. I hope you all had a nice Christmas. Hopefully it didn't get too crazy because, you know, sometimes you have an uncle who gets too drunk and he starts telling old stories about him and your dad went to Vegas and they did a bunch of blow and double teamed Asian twins at a pool party. Hopefully that just shit didn't happen. Hopefully it went smoothly. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. Since Christmas is over, that means it's almost New Year's. Almost time for drinking, partying, throwing up in some girl's purse because you thought it was a garbage pail. Shit like that. But New Year's also means that it's time to start thinking about those resolutions. But anyway, I came up with a bunch of resolutions that I think we should all commit to. First one, how about we stop calling these things hoverboards? Because it's not a fucking hoverboard. The shit has wheels that are on the ground, which means... It doesn't fucking hover! Not to mention they're expensive as hell. They're like $400 each. I hope no one's actually buying them, I don't- because I don't know anyone who has one. The only people that I'm aware of having this thing are like those Viners that moved to LA, and then these companies gave them to them for free, and then they were like, hey, let's try to incorporate this thing in every Vine for the next three months. But they're not hoverboards! They don't hover! They have wheels! It's a wheelboard! It's a sc- I- it's dumb! What, I don't know what- I, it's dumb. I don't know. Jesus, we were gonna get so fat, we just gave up walking now. We're like, fuck it, we're not gonna- We're not even gonna sell shoes anymore, we're just gonna have these things. But we're gonna get so fat, like, cause you, you don't even have to take steps anymore, you just- Just lean forward and- Alright, here we go. Pretty soon the sidewalks are gonna be like a conveyor belt, like they have that in some airports already. Forget about it, we're fucked. We're gonna step outside, the whole street's gonna be a fucking conveyor belt. We're just gonna be standing around, fucking moving down blocks. Getting fat, 500 pound people everywhere. And then you know what's gonna happen from there? Then the government's gonna make this pill. Oh, take this pill. You lose immediately 200 pounds. And we're gonna start taking the pill. We're gonna lose 200 pounds, but it also fucks up your legs. Oh, now we gotta go to the doctor to pay for the legs. More fucking money to the government. It's all connected, guys. I'm sorry. I went crazy. <laughs> Another resolution that we should all commit to is that we should stop thinking that these prank videos on the internet are real or social experiments, or whatever the fuck they're calling them nowadays. Because if I see one more Gold Diggers Exposed prank, I'm gonna fucking rip my ass off. Oh dude, there's Gold Diggers in LA? Right by Venice Beach? Oh, what? No way! Obviously, cock. Or if I see another one of these fucking videos, how to pick up hot bikini girls. What the fuck is a bikini girl? Bikini girl- what virgin came up with that title? Whoever calls a woman who's wearing a bikini a bikini girl has never seen or touched a vagina in their entire life. They haven't even bumped into one, like, with their hip on the street, like, bump it- oh, I'm sorry, miss. I didn't see you. Not even that. But seriously, can we stop thinking these things are real? They're not. They're obviously fake, and there's been multiple people who came out and said, I'm an actor, I was hired for this video to give a reaction. So why are we believing it? And it's not even good acting, and it's like weird experiment- It's like, oh, what happens if we ask homeless people for money? What the fuck? Why would you do that? And the kid walks up, excuse me, sir. Do you mind for I could have a dollar? And the homeless guy's like, But I am homeless. I have no job or money, but like, you could have it. And the kid's like, Sir, that's crazy. I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars. You're a MAGA person. And then that's it. It's like, what the fuck? So for New Year's, let's stop being fooled. All right, enough. Let's also stop with the goals. Why does everything have to be goals? Relationship goals. Food goals. Squad goals. I had someone comment on a picture of me and my family and said, Oh, family goals. What the fuck is family goals? If you say my family is family goals, that means that you hope your family one day can be as great as mine. Like we are the goal. And that is fucked up. If I was a sibling or a relative, I would drown you in a glass of distilled water. Do not ask why I got that specific with which kind of water it was. But where did goals even come from? What happened to just saying like, I like that, that's pretty cool, I like that. We threw that out the window. Now you just say the word of what the thing is and then put goals after it. Oh my God, Jessica is such a nice person. She's person goals. You sound like an asshole. I don't understand why you have to speak like the internet. Like no one's gonna retweet you in real life. Shut up. And last but not least, and believe it or not, this is a serious one. I've been noticing that sometimes I get into a routine and I do the same thing for like four months in a row. So this year I've decided that I'm gonna have a noteworthy month every month. At least once a month I'm gonna do something that's noteworthy. Something special. Something that I'm gonna tell people, like skydiving or like take a cooking class or a dancing class. Even though I clearly do not need a dancing class, I'll do it. Just anything to get you out of a routine and something to look forward to every month. And it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to be like, oh, I'm go I gotta go to fucking Dubai 
and you know, whatever, some shit like that. You know, you don't have to do that, just small things. Just try, at least try, and let me know how that goes, all right? And that is all for this week's video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my podcast. comes out every Monday. It's called The Basement Yard. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Boom!